Welcome to the channel. My name is Franco, and in today's vlog, I'll be loading up the truck with some firewood and bringing it right inside the garage. That way, it can take it easily when I need it for the wood stoves. So until I convert my shed into a proper wood shed, I have to deal with my firewood being covered by tarps and stacking it outside. This is a minor inconvenience right now because this area, I'm doing a lot of excavation and uh, stump pulling, and right now it's a complete mess, and backing into here with the truck is not easy. Um, there's a lot of big ruts from the excavator, and uh, I just hope I don't get stuck with the truck. All right, so let me start piling some wood into the truck, and I'll show you what the process that uh, I do every other like week and a half, two weeks. So in all my tarps that I have on my firewood, I made all these tarp weights that I hang around the perimeter of the tarp. This keeps it all weighed down and keeps the tarp nice and taut and prevents the snow and the ice from building up and pedaling on the top of the, the firewood pile. If anything builds up on it, it usually sloughs off the top and sheds off to the side. Uh, these have been great. They're very simple to make. They're just a piece of uh, beech wood, a very heavy dense wood, and I put a lag screw hook on the end of it and I just hook them onto the perimeter of the tarp and they work great so check out my video for that if you're interested in how I made them So I usually load the truck up with one third of a cord and I put it right inside the garage on the inside uh, foundation wall. That way it stays nice and dry from the elements. So any time of day this is extremely convenient because all I have to do is go downstairs to the garage which is connected to the house and I can get some more firewood to stock up the wood stoves. So some people are going to say having the firewood inside the house uh, or inside the garage is a bad idea because of bugs and, uh, and little critters. Well, I'd rather have it on the inside of the house for about a week or so and have it be more convenient for me to have access to the wood than to come out here every single day and to load wood into a bag or a wagon. That's just not practical for me. That's just, uh, that's just too much work, quite frankly. So all I do is load it onto the truck about every week and a half or so, and then I'll bring it right to the garage. 
That way I only have to make one trip. So if I had to use a wagon to uh, carry all this firewood up to the garage, it would be a real big pain. I've done it in the past, and I, I did it once or twice, and then I said that's it because this area is really uneven, and uh, there's a lot of mud and snow right now here all over the place in big ruts, and trying to drag that wagon full of wood uphill <laughs> is not easy to do. I can't wait to have a proper woodshed. That way this stuff doesn't stay outside and um, have all this debris and animals going through it. This pile right here is kind of a mixed match of kind of crappy wood with good wood. And, um, you know, it is what it is. This was my first pile I made. I kind of round up all the wood and I, and I chopped it up and I cut it up and and um, I made this pile first so my other two piles are actually split wood these are more so big branches and um, you know logs that I split but this isn't the greatest wood right here but I'll take it and I'll burn it no matter what I'm not that picky when it comes to wood my wood stove is pretty efficient at burning anything it's a uh, it's a newer wood stove and it has a secondary um, air intake combustion system which pours extra air into the uh, gases leaving the stove which actually burn everything much hotter than it would on a traditional you know old-fashioned stove so once I get that pile back there kinda head level I'll start making another pile here across the tailgate and that should give me about a third of a cord. So here's the firewood pile so far. This is the area I've been excavating. I plan on putting a garage right over there. Each hatch garage eventually. But right now it's a complete mess.
that's enough. So when I stack the firewood here in the garage, all I do is stack it right on the floor and on either side I make two columns or two piers with interlocking wood. Stacking the firewood in this method really helps build up a strong pile that won't fall over. You don't need to go out and buy a stand for $100, $200 and then have the thing rot on you. All you have to do is use the wood itself. You use the flat pieces, the longer pieces for the outsides to stack your columns or your piers and you stack them just like I have it here. You have it going front to back on the very first course and then as you start building it you put the flat pieces on the outside building up those piers and interlocking them and then in the center you put all the odds and ends that aren't suited for the outside columns. All your round pieces of wood will go in the center. You don't want the round pieces of wood on the outside uh, piers that you're building because it's just going to make it very unstable. It's going to end up wobbling and um, it wants to run on that round piece of wood and it's, it's just not going to work out great. So this is what works for me. If you want to use the stand, go right ahead, but I don't find the need to. So this pile of wood is kind of a really mixed match of split wood with kind of not so great wood so I'm gonna get a lot of crotched pieces that don't sit well in the pile so those I'll just put right in the center all my pieces that have a nice flat on them that are split wood those usually tend to go on the outside to build up those columns or piers So constantly as you're building the pile, you want to adjust as you find a good piece and put it like a puzzle piece within the pile to make it sturdy.
So that's it. The pile is finally stacked, and now I have wood to bring inside the house. And I need it. All right, so this is the pile. I'm totally done now. All I'm going to do now is just empty out this tarp with all the debris that's in it, and um, I'll be good to go. Now I can just bring some of this wood upstairs and use it in the wood stoves. So if you like to work smarter and not harder, you know, tarps are, are a great tool uh, to make your life easier, that's for sure. Well guys, the firewood pile is all set. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.